Hey, it's Lloyd with Perfect Rest Pizza Liners and Incredible Bags, and I'm joined today by chef with Chef Neil and his wife Paula from Troy's Italian Kitchen in Arlington, Hi, Virginia. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Excellent. Thanks for joining me. I just want to say that uh, I've been looking forward to talking to you for a long time, and I'll tell you why. I've been watching you on social media and uh, interacting with you a little bit. And yours is kind of a great, you know, small family business story. Your food looks fantastic. And so I've really been wanting to learn a little bit more about Troy's. Well, thanks for having us, Lloyd. Okay, so here's my first question for you. It's Neil and Pollock. Why is it Troy's? <laughs> so when we bought the place, um, the name was already Troy's and it was a well-established um, pizza place in the area, especially the community know about Troy's. Okay. So we just left it alone. Gotcha. And when was that? This was, um, we bought the place on May 7th of 2018. Okay. Um, 19. 19, 19. Sorry. Okay, great. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about Troy's, the level of service, a little bit about your menu, kind of what you offer. So, I mean, you know, we're honestly just a very small mom and pop pizzeria. Um, we have a very small dining area, but we actually did close it off, obviously for the mm -hmm. pandemic. And we've actually decided we're not gonna open back up for dining. It was never a big thing for us anyway. Um, and we're happy with being takeout. We're just a neighborhood pizza joint. Um, we offer a lot of like, you know, very basic, normal pizzas. And then we try to, we try to funk it up a little bit. So we, our first thing was we added the chicken tikka masala pizza because we're both Indians. Wow. And so those flavor, that flavor comes to us pretty naturally. Right. Uh, and believe it or not, that's one of our best selling pizzas we have. I believe uh, it. Yeah. We're both vegetarians. So mm -hmm. our biggest thing was like when we go out to eat for ourselves, finding food options gets a little difficult. And a lot of places you go to, they'll be like, well, we have a salad. And it's sure. like, well, I don't want a salad. I want food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we know how hard it is. And when we bought the place, one of the things we really wanted to do was expand on vegan options. Because this area in particular, like the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, has a very large vegan following uh -huh. with not a lot of options. And so one of our main goals was try to add more variety to our menu and cater to people with more dietary restrictions. So we wanted to add more vegan options. That was the main thing we started working on. Um, and right before the pandemic hit last year, we found a great vendor that we could work with and it really just it took off for us. And That's then awesome. we've been work, yeah. And we've been working on um, expanding our gluten-free menu too. So you know, a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. So a couple things. Uh, I looked up where you are on maps and you're, you're in the heart of it. You're not far from Arlington National Cemetery. I mean, you are, yeah. it's not like you're on the outskirts of DC. You're right there, right? Yeah. We're literally uh, two miles away from the Pentagon. Wow. That's great. Yeah. And in terms of kind of the vegan vegetarian thing, um, I have to say that I have many vegan and vegetarian friends and in talking to them, you know, their frustration at going to a restaurant where there's maybe like one thing and it's not particularly great. It, 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 to them, they, they feel like it, while they understand it's their choice, they feel like it shouldn't have to be much of a sacrifice. And I guess that's why I'm kind of fascinated by your menu is when I look at it, um, you have a lot of options. And it, it's funny because you say, oh, we're just a simple pizzeria and, you know, kind of not, you know, not a huge menu, but we've added some stuff. So I'm on the West Coast, I'm in California. And here, uh, many of the pizzerias serve basically pizza, salad, and wings. So their right. menu would fit on a business card. Whereas, right. you know, you have appetizers and salads and sandwiches. And virtually in every category, you've got a vegan or vegetarian option, right? Yes. And that was our main thing. When we started developing our vegan menu, we didn't want just one staple item. You know, like you said, a lot of the frustration comes when you go out to eat and you have one option just so they can say they have an option for everybody. 
we wanted to make sure we had an option in every category. Um, so if I have an appetizer, I want to make sure I have vegan appetizers. I want to make sure I have vegan calzones, pizzas, sandwiches, yes. everything. Pastas. Pastas, yep. yeah. Yeah. Regarding the chicken tikka masala pizza, I have to say that like, I know some people are super purist about pizza, but I've been in the pizza industry now for uh, 20 years or more. And I just, while I really enjoy the authentic, authentic Italian pizza, authentic New York pizza, I think it's such a great platform for these fusions. And I find that some of the most interesting things that when I taste something and I go, that's new and that's really neat. And chicken tikka masala pizza is kind of cool. So uh, when the pandemic's over and I come out to the Washington We'd area, that's absolutely one of the things I'm gonna try because it looks fantastic in your social media. So um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you about was uh, you do online ordering and you yep. do delivery both in-house, it seems like kind of for a limited radius and then third party, right? Yes. yes. Okay, and that, that, that brings up my next question, which is you being featured in an Uber Eats ad uh, for the Wayne's World thing. How did that yes. happen? And did you know it was going to happen? So it's funny because a couple, like three, four months, someone called us from Uber Eats and said, hey, would you be willing to do have us do a commercial on you guys and we said yeah that's fine and i totally forgot about it and then a customer told us that hey we saw your commercial on like fox 5 or something and i'm like there's no way we did a commercial and then another customer sent me the commercial and was like the wayne's brother did a commercial on you and i'm like what the heck yeah and like literally now people are just coming in trying our calzones, trying our different pizzas. And it's just that, you know, like Uber Eats wanted to help local restaurants. Um, and we told them, yeah, why not? Let's, if it's free, why not? You know? Yeah. yeah. They didn't tell us like exactly what it was going to be. They just said it was going to be one of their, you know, eat local campaigns. And I'm thinking, yeah. okay, great. So it'll be like a little spotlight. I don't know. Yeah. Or, you know, they, she, I think the lady had mentioned that they were going to use somebody, you know, that the local public would recognize. And I'm thinking, okay, so it might be like a newscaster, you know, someone local right. to the area. We were not expecting, you know, the people from Wayne's World. <laughs> um, so that was very, very great. Yeah, but it's a it, it's a great spot. And, you know, yeah. the, the two guys are saying, you know, I'm going to eat it get something from Troy's Italian Kitchen in Arlington, yeah. Virginia. And I'm like watching it, but that is so cool. So that's great. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah, that is awesome. And then regarding your marketing, uh, you do a great job on social media. You know, your posts on Facebook and Instagram are great. And, you know, you guys have great scores on Yelp, you know, four out of five, uh, Google reviews, 4.6 out of five. And I see that you're real uh, interactive with the people who review. Is that something that you sought to do like right from the start? Because I think it's, it's great that you do that. So we, we actually hired a marketing person okay. out in LA. Mm -hmm. um, she's actually very, very fantastic. I yeah. mean, she's amazing. Um, you know, with, with her, we, we made it a point that any kind of reviews, good reviews, bad reviews, whatever the case is, Less than 24 hours, we need to reply back to it. Every review should Every, get a response. Yes. Yeah. And we've noticed even the bad reviews that we get, I mean, look, everyone gets bad reviews, you know? Um, but what we've done is we've taken over those bad reviews and asking, why don't you come try us again? We will make sure that everything is right. And now, like, I want to say our... The, the rating for bad reviews when customers don't come back, it's changed over. Like, let's say if there's 10 people, at least seven of those bad reviews, those people will come back and try us again and make we, we can make them into um, repeatable customers. And I think we start, that was something we started from the get-go. Because yeah. even when we bought the place, because we didn't change the name, we left it what it was. The main thing we 
focused on in the beginning was all the negative reviews that were on Google from the previous owner or previous establishment, we went back and let them know like, hey, you know, we're under new management, new ownership. We'd love for you to come give us another chance. Please reach out to us. We'd offer you a discount to give us a try. You know, just reaching out to them and letting them know that things are different. And if they're still not happy, that's, you know, I mean, unfortunate, but I think, I think it's been great for us. It, lets people know that we are invested in them as much as they are in us and we care we genuinely care what they think and how they feel about our service and our food right well that's how you present in social media and in the reviews right. and i think that's great i mean i see restaurants that they tip that they never respond to a review which to me seems kind of odd i i really like the back and forth and i don't see a lot of bad reviews what i see is a lot of reviews where people are just raving about those specialty menu, vegan and vegetarian options because they really appreciate that. And, you know, I don't know if it's repeatable for everyone. I'm sure a lot of it has to do with, you know, your kind of interest in food, your being vegetarian yourself, Chef Neil's training, et cetera, et cetera, that, you know, I'm not sure everybody can do it, but I think that people that, that you know, maybe are afraid of doing that it's something they should look at because it's a big part of the public absolutely absolutely and it's kind of the way the world is going now too um and honestly our biggest goal is just making sure that everyone that walks in our door has an option on something they would like to eat right right um, so uh, we're going to be wrapping up here in a few minutes, but I'll ask about uh, something that you did recently, and okay. that is your Big Dill pizza, <laughs> always on the cutting edge. So uh, tell me where this where this came from well, and what the reception's <laughs> been. It's launching today. So okay. it was one of those things I've been talking to Neil about for a couple of weeks, right? And I'm like... I don't know, you know, we eat jalapenos on a pizza and we eat pineapples on a pizza. You know, we eat a lot of pickled type items. Right. Why yeah. not a pickle? And he was looking at me like, I don't know, what? we're not eating pickles on a pizza. This isn't a sandwich. I was like, I don't know. I think it could be really good. You just kind of cut the sourness of a pickle with like garlic sauce and I don't know, some other stuff. He was like, I don't know, just try it one day. And so I did one of the days this week when Neil wasn't at the store, um, I made a pizza and then he came in a little later that day and I was like, here, I need you to try this. And he took a bite and he was like, this is wow. really good. <laughs> I was like, I told you. <laughs> and it's so a big trend going on TikTok right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's sort of a running gag too with Eric, the other guy that I work with from from incredible bags and perfect crust and that he's, we have a customer that will send him like a picture of a of a pickle pizza every day just because eric is like i'm never gonna try this and so when i saw it pop up on yours i thought oh my god even troy's italian kitchen is going with the, with a dill pickle pizza so i'm definitely We're not gonna afraid be... to try something new if it doesn't do well it doesn't do well but right. i'm gonna try it <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, I think it's great. But well, when it popped up, I got to tell you, I had a good laugh. Totally. <laughs> Maybe we'll convince Eric to try ours. Yes. <laughs> that will be great. That'll be, I, I will definitely be telling him all about yours. So I would imagine he's going to be commenting on your social media. So. <laughs> so, Neil and Pollock, it's been delightful. I know you're busy. It's East Coast time. You got to get ready for lunch. So I'm going to let you go here in a minute. Where can people find you on social media? Troy's Italian Kitchen is our handle on Instagram. Troy's Italian Kitchen is on Facebook. And then it's just Troy's Italian on Twitter. Great. If you guys aren't following, you're missing out. So please check them out. I think once you do, you'll see why I've been looking forward to this interview for a long, long time. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. You guys Thanks, have a great day. Thanks, Thank you, you very too. much. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.